Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and some news coming out today that that infamous photo of Andrew and Virginia could be fake. That's right. His previous uh, girlfriend, Lady Victoria, is out claiming the photo is not real, and she's bringing some seeming evidence. We're going to go through it, but in order to go through it correctly, I got my man Brian from No System. Brian, I'm so glad to have you on the channel. How are you doing, man? Hello, sir. I thank you for having me. It has been a long time since I've been on the channel. I'm, I'm super happy to be back. For those that don't know, Brian is a graphics expert, VFX expert. He made that logo you just saw in the beginning. He's made all my logos, my get back up, my keep going. All of our logos here in the channel are made by this man, Brian. I'm so uh, indebted to him. He's such a good guy. He's got a whole store. We're going to plug it. Go check out No System. Uh, and I'll play, it'll be uh, in the description, etc. But you can go get uh, his cool designs, the whole store full cool designs, as well as the Popcorn Planet Emporium. We can get all of our shirts and designs. But I figured what a perfect time to bring you in, Brian, because you are a graphic expert. You are a VFX expert. I had you look at this photo. Now, we're going to get through this new these new clues, this new evidence that's come in. She did a whole Instagram thread, which we're going to break down. But here is the photo in question. Now, before we even get to these clues, you looked at this photo. I, I want to sort of you share your you know you, the, what you said first was kind of interesting. You're like, well, I had no reason to believe it wasn't real, right? And so then I I had you look again. I right, look at it from a more more specific eye as your expertise. In doing so, do you see any red flags from a Photoshop from a, a digital editing standpoint that make you think that this photo could be fake? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've I've had I've seen this photo a lot over the years because it's. It's sir. It's circulated with this story. Uh, well, not this specific, but it's it circulated with talks about Prince Andrew over the years. So, it's not a new photo to me, and I've never questioned it. Uh, in part, just because there are so many photos from Epstein things. I know Prince Andrew doesn't often show up. Like royal family in general don't show up in things, but like, yeah, care, just, care, don't I, say the e word again. Yes, but yeah, th that those. Those moments, there's a lot of these photos you're saying this didn't surprise you. But as you look at this yeah. image and we look for more higher res, which I there's, there's you can't, it's hard to find a full res. If anybody's got the full res image, please send it my way. But we've Googled through and, and I've, I've tried to find some higher res. There was something interesting you said about the light source that really sort of sold you on why you believe this photo yeah. is correct. Well, so if you're if you're looking at this, so look just to the, the left and right of the nose. Like you can see a highlight on their nose itself. And the nose matches up on each, or the cheeks match up on each side. And, you know, if you look over here on the left, um, you can see that, like, it's reacting the way it should in that, you know, his head is slightly turned. And so you're getting, like, cast shadow from the nose that's removing the highlight on the back side cheek. But you're still getting that highlight right around the edge of the cheek, yep, kind of right where that fold is that connects to the nose which matches up with the flash that's on the window. And so, you know, and even on just on, on, on uh, we'll call her Maxi back there, even on Maxi, right. right. The light source on the cheeks is sort of a really definitive tell there that this all matches the light source that's there. And it, would this, would that be easy and to with fake? her head turn with her head turn? Like you can also see that like it's, it's hitting the way that it should hit if the light were coming. Like if you can imagine that that light is coming from in front of them and sort of picture like lines shooting forward, that's where those lines would be hitting. So, and you can see as we zoom into this, even this flash source, like, uh, sorry, I'm going to like, it's there. It's, it really does. It's a good, it's, it's a good fake if it's a fake, but it seems like from even my limited experience, this would be very hard to fake. This would take a very, an insane amount of expertise and this photo is old what, what, well, what and let, let's look at the let's look at the eyes too um you know go ahead and zoom in on the eyes you know because we can look at head turns here too you know you can see that like based on the way the light is hitting you're definitely getting the stronger red eye over on the left and by the time you get to the head turn on maxi over on the right um it's it's hitting much less the way that you would expect it to so like at least from an optical perspective, there isn't anything that's like screaming out to me that this isn't, you know, you can see another one of those flash highlights on her, on the, the model's right shoulder. Right. Um, and sort of on her neck, you're getting some of those same flash highlights. Are those um, easy to recreate if you were tasked with making a fake? Is that something that you think would be done by an expert like this to be that 
minutia to make sure the flash marks and everything are meeting on the on the shoulder and on the cheek. It feels very excessive. Like you, right? I mean, I is it something that someone could potentially do? Maybe. Um, I, it would be excessive to me. I, I wouldn't think that that would normally. It's the type of thing that that somebody might think about, but I, there's just a lot of natural things that that happen that are very hard to think about. Well, because that's um, the other thing they, they they're saying the hand. He's like even print, Andrew. I tried to call him Andrew. Even he's like, well, yeah, that's not my hand. That's not my, his hand, and it is. It's a little redder, but then you look at this hand. It's still like. I, I don't know. It's it's hard to get a, full, a better res of this, sadly. I wish we had a clearer full res of everything, because even this one's not as clear as it is here on this shot. But, uh, sorry, I keep uh, this one right here. Yeah, no, it's okay. I mean, a, a the light is falling off, um, and so, you know, his hand is sort of obscured anyways. But also, you know, uh, just depending... I, it's hard to say how much blood flow or something, you know, blood flow definitely changes the color of hands. I don't, but I think that has more to do with potential film and, and light than anything else. You know, look at, at Maxie's skin, like her hands are also much darker than her face. Right. When um, you look at it. And so there's just, yeah, it's definitely like, you can see like there it's, she's a little darker and it's cause it's, the flash isn't hitting her as hard. Uh, and they're getting a little bit more wash washed out, but his hand is clearly blocked a bit more. All right, I mean, so look, there's no red flags as you look through this. There were no red flags to no. you. No. All right, so now yeah. as we go through this new story of uh, Prince Andrew's ex-girlfriend raising questions over this photo being fake, let's present this. So this comes in from Lady Victoria Hervey, these new clues. And uh, I want to go through her thread here, which some are like, whoa, whoa, could this, could this make things interesting? Well... I don't know what this photo she's referring to. Anyone familiar with this photo? I'm not. Uh, apparently, it's a painting. And so in this photo, it's it's a, you know, comparing to what we had in the original picture here, it's like adding her arm. It's adding her arm as if she, they, they took it from... Sorry, what I'm trying to... I don't know why. There, uh, no, this is the one. Yep, there we go. Comparing that one to this one, as we look at them compared... Uh, this this is clearly looks like a painting of her that someone, you know, a high realistic painting would do of this photo. Uh, seeing this photo with her arm sort of makes this implication that, yeah, they found a photo of her and photoshopped him in. Let, let's go through all the evidence, I guess. And then, Brian, you can c come back and tell me what you thought. Do you believe that photo is real? Or what if I told you survivors told me it's an Irish body double that was edited in? So here's another clue. I, I don't she's not very clear on what her clues are. She's circling this photo of her. I, 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 don't, I don't know what this means. How did no one figure this out before? It's mind-boggling. Uh, okay, I think that's her. But I don't understand what this has to do with anything. We've, I think we've seen that before. Sorry if I'm not clear regarding the photos. The original photo was painted. So what you see is one of those other girls... One, or Is one of the other girls painting. I will give more info later on this, but the guy that used to, in the the guy they use is in fact a body double that they photoshopped Andrew's head onto. Maria Farmer edited it together with Virginia. Uh, here's another weird uh, another survivor's girl has been given us clues, but no one's connected it. Unclear what this clue is, how that's related to this photo at all. <laughs> I can't I can't figure out these clues um, and what this means. That hand isn't anywhere else in the photo that I can see. So it's a little confusing. This is all, to, it's all sketchy as heck. Yeah, it's confusing I, what it, this is. And then we got, we got a couple more as, as in this painting of the original image before they added an empty background of GM's house. So they're, they're implying this is a painting that someone made that they then turned into a photo. It was taken on the yacht in the South of France from Naomi's birthday. And I guess that's what this is. There she is on the yacht. Is what this, I, I, honestly, it doesn't even look like her. It doesn't even this, these photos she keeps sharing. I'm, I'm confused. Is that really her? But okay. Uh, and apparently that these are from a yacht photo, and they're 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 saying, well, no, this is from a yacht picture that someone painted. People have reached out to me with information uh, that should have been uncovered by the press. You need to start doing their jobs. Think about it. Don't make the story about me. It's about finding the truth. Well, you're now putting yourself in the story. Now, here's where it's. This is the body double that was dating one of you know, uh, Jeffy's girls. Now that's not the same shirt at all. 
So I'm, I'm confused. I mean, I guess it could be with lighting, but sure doesn't seem like it. But okay, so here's some creepy guy that she's saying that's who they use as the body double. And then a uh, picture was taken using a digital camera, so there's only a digital image that existed. No film negative ever existed. Uh, what happens if you sell fake photos for 170k to a newspaper? I'd be pretty pissed if I was the Daily Mail now, right? Right now, can you can you be charged? And then uh, responding to the mirror, which she just posted, uh, Lady Victoria posted a, minutes, a few minutes ago. Uh, hey, mirror, I'm not questioning it at all. I'm telling you, it's 100% fabricated by the girls, Virginia, etc. So, in looking at those images, Brian, now that we've sort of established, it doesn't seem like this image is fake. Does any of this change your mind? I, I mean, if anything, that just it looks like she's wearing the same pants there. So, I mean, I, I guess the only thing I would say in this photo is like, let's go back to the first. Yeah, this one. Um, can you scroll up? So we're looking at both of them. Like, I, that doesn't flag me as weird. It flags me as someone took another photo the same day. Right. Uh, you know, okay. They could have taken the like, yacht just, to his That house. tells me that it's just <laughs> more evidence that like, oh, okay. So, you know, she wears... Uh, people wear the same clothes uh, all that often. Who knows how many clothes she even had with her? Why wouldn't she have potentially? Maybe she liked that outfit. Um, and, you know, people, they were pointing out that the jacket shows up on both people. Like, if they're living together, I, I don't know. I know how my sisters used to steal clothes from my mom. Like, why would they, she have not, like, grab the jacket one day it just it doesn't stand out to me as something that is a is a flag um i don't know i i think about these things in terms of occam's razor like what is the easiest answer and like the easiest answer based on the evidence of other photos that we've seen of people is just like wh what is the reason for it to, to be faked and there, there really isn't one um it, if anything, the the onus is on the person making these new claims. What's what's in it for them? And I think that they have much more at stake than this model. Like right. And what's at, weird to at me end is of the like, end of the day, yeah. You know, let this let this model speak and have her truth. And and what's weird to me also is like if anything looks fake, it's this one. <laughs> like this, yeah. does, this is no, the smoke. That, if this is your smoking gun, like. It, this could have well, easily been added. Like you could have easily taken this from here and just repainted it and add the arm. The a arm would be an easy. This is an easy thing to add in, correct? Right. Well, and this well, is all let's blurry. Let's go a step further. Let's go a step further. Like if you're going to paint this from reference, you're probably not going to. Well, you know, let's look specifically at the hand and the jacket. Do you look, pay attention to the shading? Is there a, is there any shading that matches up with no. the, you know that this looks arm, super fake. Like they didn't paint it the same way. So if someone were going to be painting that because they supposedly painted it and changed the background, there would be consistency across the whole thing, would there not? Like my guess is that there would be. So like again, I think this is sketchy as hell. Like there's no reason to me that this is a thing that even exists i mean even this arm here right it's like what's going on i i don't i don't get it's it it's weird like why, why? if you're painting that <laughs> you're not gonna keep the outline of the arm as a at least i wouldn't like that's not you know when you're painting it's always going to be representational on some level because you're trying to interpret through your hand what you're seeing with your eyes and it's not perfect and like something that supposedly uh, uh, one of her friends is painting, like, so you've got a, another 20 something, late teen, early 20 something. Not that someone couldn't be a great painter by that time in their life, but I, that it just it doesn't strike me as something that's painted. Yeah, I mean, it's just confusing, too, just because, okay, so just because she has this jacket and, and, and this outfit doesn't mean that they couldn't have then immediately gone here to this place afterwards. I don't, I don't, yeah. I, this doesn't it, debunk anything in my mind. It, it, I, look, it, this, the, the reality is yeah. anything, it could be fake is the reality. There is a, there is a small percentage of sure anything's possible. Um, effects have gotten pretty damn good. 
but nothing in here is giving you the red flags to say this this is a clear fake this this this, this is equally <laughs> you what is odds more likely seeming real or not to you brian I, you know my guess is that this is a a real photo you know and and it just the rest of it just seems like a whole lot of smoke where there's probably some some fire like it just it's so weird um i i, I don't know like it, it just seems really weird that someone would be I, it seems like someone who's trying to cover up for something and suddenly they're going to throw everything at the wall to try and create some sort of a distraction. Yeah. Like, Hey guys, see, this is to proof. It's, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, there you go. I'm glad we got you in here. Your expertise. I appreciate it guys. Support my man, Brian over at no system. The links in the description. I'll put the pin comment as well. Go check out some of his amazing stuff. You can also check out the Popcorn Planet store. It's right up there on the top. Yeah. You can uh, check out, uh, where was it? Uh, there it is. On the main page, go there. Gothics is on there as well. Popcorn Planet, more stuff on the way, but you can go pick up our shirts, including my keep, Get Back Up, our Keep Going, yeah. uh, Popcorn Planet logos, so much more. Go support this man. Go support the channel. Uh, you uh, love your work. So grateful for your help here, and so awesome to have you on. Any final comments or questions you want to add? Well, we definitely have more stuff coming. You know, we're going to be getting stuff out. We've got, uh, we're getting ready for, for launching for the year. And, you know, I know you and I have been talking and we've got more plans for, for things. We've got a really cool podcast that's coming out next week that uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a meditation. It's kind of a, it, it's, I, I have ADHD and my brain goes all over the place and this is sort of, uh, it's like that uh, Always Sunny GIF where he's connecting all the strings between things. Oh, I sort of unpack things I in a weird way. I can't wait to hear that. You can find Brian over and on Twitter. Go to, uh, be, it's, it's B, how do I say it? Beam, right? Your last Beam. Name? It's yeah, Beam, it. yeah. Beam Creative. Beam. Dot, I don't want to say it wrong. Beam Creative at yeah. Twitter. Follow him there. And uh, Beam.com, you can, if he, but he, he's done so much stuff. VFX artist, did work yeah. over at Rooster Teeth for the longest time. Uh, amazing work. And if you want to go follow his podcast, his work, go support him there. Uh, and uh, awesome to have you guys if you haven't already oh, make you. sure you are subscribed at the bell double check that you're subscribed smash that like button and leave your comments do you think this is fake could it be fake i want to hear your thoughts down below we'll be back live today around 1 30 p.m we'll see you there thanks so much for watching here popcorn planet <laughs>